Hello and welcome to a brand new series that I'm just releasing now. This series is going to be called Xbox Classics. It will focus on original Xbox games exclusively and I'm going to be talking about Xbox games that I don't think a lot of people would remember, may might have never played, um, especially for people who just jumped in with the Xbox 360 and never owned an original Xbox and think the original Xbox was just the Halo machine and that's all there was for it. Um, the original Xbox, in fact, has an extensive library of fantastic games, um, many of which can be found for next to nothing these days. Um, this game, in particular, um, can be found very cheap. It's Dead or Alive 2 Ultimate, and it is easily one of the original Xbox's best games. Dead or Alive 2 Ultimate is an extensive remake of Dead or Alive 2, which was, came out in arcades in 1999, and then was quickly ported to the Sega Dreamcast. Um, this is better than the Dreamcast version, and it is also better than the PlayStation 2 version of the same game. Um, this game came out uh, towards the very end of the Xbox's life, um, with Team Ninja producing some of the best visuals ever found on the original Xbox in this game. Um, for those who have never played this game, Dead or Alive is a series um, that's mostly well known for its TNA. Um, it's all about the Flash. But in addition to that, there is actually good gameplay here. There is a core gameplay um, behind all the flashy visuals and all the all the beautiful women and all that. Um, it's actually quite good. Um, for those who have never, you know, those who enjoy fighting games, um, even if you enjoy, you know, fairly, um, fairly, you know, very typical R or fighting games such as Street Fighter 2, um, you'd really enjoy this game. It's really built for everyone to enjoy. Beginners, experts, you know, all of that. So with all that said, let's play some of this, right? So here's DOA 2 Ultimate. We're gonna play on the story mode. Now, like I said, the characters are mostly well known for, you know, their ridiculous boobs and all this stuff. You get outfits like this. And this. And this. And this. And etc. etc. And all the characters. And the guys just have, you know, fairly normal costumes for the most part. Um, Alright, so we're gonna play as Ayane because she's my favorite character. I'll go with... Uh, I'll go with... Purple Bikini. Why not? Yes, that is Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden. Both the classic series and the, uh, the newer games, also called Ninja Gaiden. The story of DOA is always kind of convoluted and just silly. <laughs> If I remember right, DOA2's um, story is about um, this secret government agency um, kidnapping ninjas to use them as super soldiers or something. <laughs> But it doesn't really matter. It's a fighting game, right? Get ready, fight! The DOA series also has fantastic music that it often um, does not ever go recognized. The other thing that DOA series is known for is the interactive environments. You can knock characters down staircases, um, through windows, etc. That kind of thing. Okay, oh. 
Uh, it didn't quite work out. I was trying to knock her down the steps there. Very appropriate. Get ready, fight! Prior to the release of Dead or Alive 4, um, or Dead or Alive 5, I should say, all of the English versions of the Dead or Alive series um, all just subtitled the original Japanese voice acting. And I guess that's for the best, because, you know, in the early days, Tecmo wasn't that great at English voice dubs. Get ready, fight! This is, of course, the Ninja Hayate. And in fact, Ayane's half-brother. As the series has gone on, um, the series has obviously become more and more complex, with the latest entry, Dead or Alive 5, being so much more complex than DOA 2, it's even hard to go back to DOA 2. But this is still a fantastic game, and it's still worth playing. The Tengu is still a bastard. This damn boss. I'll try and beat him, but... Oh, I really got lucky there. Sometimes this boss is so damn annoying. Yeah, you say that in that bikini. So proud. If you have friends that love fighting games, this is an amazing game. This is a must-have game. Um, there is a lot of other content besides the story mode, the original arcade mode of the game. Um, it had an online mode back in the day when the original Xbox had Xbox Live, but uh, obviously that's gone. But if you want to play this game split-screen co-op, or, uh, or not split-screen co-op, but split-screen um, versus, or you know even LAN, it's still such a fantastic game, and this is really a must-have game for the original Xbox. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time with another installment in this series. I hope to be doing this fairly often now.